Well, Mr. Trump narrowly lost Georgia in 2020, but not this time around. President-elect Trump won the Peach State by almost 120,000 votes. His supporters, well, they are feeling optimistic. Atlanta News First, Don Shipman is at the Fulton County Elections Hub and Operations Center, where election workers are getting back to work. It was a long night for those election workers inside there, a long night for voters watching and waiting for those results. And now, People on both sides of the aisle are hoping to heal election wounds. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful and free again. Well before securing the necessary 270 electoral votes, paving a path for a second term in the White House, a confident former President Donald Trump claimed victory overnight. The Associated Press officially made the call hours later, shortly after 530 in the morning. I'm happy. Um, I think Trump's going to do a better job. Many woke up to the news of President-elect Donald Trump. In poll after poll, Americans like Charlie Bowman of Cherokee County for months overwhelmingly said that they believed the country was headed in the wrong direction. Now, with four more years of a Trump presidency, Bowman feels more optimistic. Well, I hope we gas prices come back down. That'll, that'll help all prices come back down and then you know, just more money in my pocket, <laughs> maybe be able to save a little more. I can't understand it. I, I really don't. That optimism is not shared by Fred Woodall of Fulton County, who voted for Vice President Kamala Harris. Even though we had record numbers in early voting, I don't think enough people just went out and voted, uh, to be honest with you. More than four million Georgians voted early, with more than a million more voting on Election Day. In fact, Fulton County alone broke 2020 records for in-person voting on Election Day, with more than 92,000 people casting ballots at the county's 177 polling locations. Well, I think we have to be open-minded. Beverly Average, a Fulton County resident of 10 years, says while she voted for Harris, she's willing to peer out the other side. And America is struggling financially. So people are looking more at their finances. A lot of people are making business decisions and business decision trumps personal decisions. Success will bring us together. I've seen that, I've seen that. And now that the ballots are counted, workers here are focusing in on those provisional and absentee ballots that have to be processed by Friday. In Fulton County, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.